about how to take better Instagram photos. Ready? Ready. Ready. Number one, lighting. <laughs> what kind of lighting do you want <laughs> to shoot in? You want to shoot in this kind of lighting. Natural lighting, no dark corners. You want to keep it as bright as possible. It kind of eliminates a gr the grain in photos so that you're not getting any grain or blurriness or harsh shadows. And it just makes the space look more positive and light and mm -hmm. airy and I love it. Yeah. Yep. And what do you want to avoid? Shadows. <laughs> Dark places. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you're into the shadows and you know how to work with the shadows, definitely go for it. It kind of gives it a more artsy dark mm -hmm. moody kind of vibe yeah but definitely if you're looking for those brighter more positive photos where you can see your subjects definitely stick to lighter areas where I think lighting is always gross yes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, stay away from fluorescent or tungsten lighting, which is that orange lighting. If you can keep everything one tone, so you have one source of light, it's much better. Because if you don't, you're gonna get maybe window light on this side, and then yeah. an orange light on this side. Do you think people can take good photos on a phone, or do they need like a fancy setup? Absolutely, you can take good photos on a phone. Honestly, it's really easy. You don't have to have a big professional camera. It's honestly very easy to take like, iPhone photos anywhere with mm -hmm. good lighting and good composition, I should say. Sure, there's a bunch of free YouTube tutorials yeah. to teach you how to take good ones. Tip. We just learned this. Ooh. On iPhones, okay. you can change the exposure when you're taking the picture. Instead of like, you know how you can tap and then it like changes? Mm -hmm. You can hold your finger down and slide up and slide down and it will change the exposure. Shut up. Yeah. They yeah, yeah, taught a photographer it. about photography. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, editing tips. Okay. Presets, they're very trendy right now. You know what, I don't mind presets. If you want to use a preset, do it. All the power to you. Presets actually keep everything consistent. I would definitely recommend finding a preset that suits you as a person. If you're this energetic, fun person that likes light and airy, white walls, everything like that, don't go to a dark preset. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Like pick something that's you and represents you and something that won't in 50 years go at a trend. Because yeah. you want to look back on your photos and Okay, this is, I still oh, love this photo. Something yeah. timeless. Yes, yeah, something That's timeless. That is like, what was it, like 2012? Maybe on Instagram, where you like had the white. Remember, it was like white on each side? Yeah, because you remember that. Everything had to be square, so you would put like white. I find like Instagram's a really good place where you can show your personality. Yeah. And if that's how you were back then, yeah. Yeah. then be proud of it, girl. Yes. Lightroom Mobile, great for editing. Okay. Is it ever? And it's free. <laughs> it's yeah. free. It is it's free. free. Now, honestly, the easiest way to get proper exposure, proper composition, photos, you can crop, you can do everything, and it's easy to use. It is. My it dad is. can do it. Yeah. And you can do it too. You can do yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Practice. Yes. <laughs> Practice. You don't have to take one shot and feel like, like that's the shot. Just keep taking photos and maybe one out of 50 will work. Also, put yourself in there. You don't always have to be perfect. You can just be yourself yeah. and yeah. be unfiltered once in a while. Where can we find you online, Leslie? <laughs> At Leslie Estelle Photography. It'll be linked in the tips. Yes. No problem. And, and thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Bye.